friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So today is Saturday and I'm out running some errands um, for um, the house and me. So I just left Bath and Body Works. I had to go in there because um, Puda wanted some coffee scented fall candles. So she sent me some money. Well, I had access. And so I got her two candles um and i got her some lotions and um yeah so i'm getting her box ready to send it on monday i need to go and get her some cold medicines and some other things and vix and stuff to put in her box so i'm, I'm gonna go do that um i also need to go and get some things i need to go to target um because i need some household cleaning things from target but right now where i am it's so I'm at Macy's. Um, the mall is so crowded, y'all. I mean, really. Somebody has some money. <laughs> so I I had the Bath and Body Works um, bag, but I did not want to be carrying that through the mall, so I took it to my car. But um, the Macy's is here on the other side of the mall, and I didn't want nobody to see. Like, I put something in my car and was going back. So I drove down here to park and um and i parked on the side where you can go right into the household um what it is like the the kitchenware the homeware the towels and comforts because i'm still looking for a comforter um for both rooms for our room and the guest bedroom and um so we'll see what i find in here but i also need a frying pan y'all i have been trying to find the perfect non-stick frying pan and i have not found it so the last one that i have i think it's t-fall i bought it from macy's and that was about 14 years ago and so it is time it has lasted this long so it's time for another one so i'm going to take you on with me we're going to go and run my errands you're going to do that with me and then uh, when we get home i'm going to show you what i got um from bath and body works and if i pick up anything from macy's all right guys so let's go on in All right, so what I'm gonna do for this video, so just, I'm just gonna take you along with me to see what I found in Macy's and what they have out already for the holiday season. It's pretty much just gonna be uh, a walkthrough. I have some music playing in the background, but the things that really stick out to me, I'll come in and we'll talk about those. Your Macy's look anything like mine. My Macy's was a little bit sparse. I was expecting it to be filled with a lot more, but it wasn't. But they did have some of these great throws here. They're very luxurious. And these are the, these pillows right here. I picked up some pillows that I actually um, picked them up last year. They were for Christmas. They were like $80 a piece. And I was able to get mine for, I think, like $25. And then this little area over here is all dolled out for Christmas, guys. And I love the Santa. The African-American Santas gave me life. They are absolutely beautiful. I love all the detail on them. So they had the Santa in the white Santa suit. And then they have, it, have him here with the traditional Santa suit. And of course, I loved all the reindeers. And um, the prices on these, you know, it's, it's at Macy's. But... Pretty soon they will have them on um, a discount. So if you're a collector of the African-American Santas, <laughs> go to Macy's. They are absolutely amazing. 
Now these um, bling rhinestone cones caught all of my attention. I think that's going to be another DIY for you, girl. They are absolutely beautiful. Now I went over to the furniture department and I came across this that beautiful buffet there. I loved it. It was only a thousand dollars, but you know I came in here looking for some pots, and so I saw these frying pans right here. My my the home. Um, the kitchen area was pretty sparse also, so they really did not have a lot for me to choose from, as you can see. Now this turkey right here, I have seen it for the past two years and every year I say I'm going to get it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love the bright gold um, face of the turkey and the porcelain white body. And these cups here are very similar to the cups that we get from the Dollar Tree. They're a little bit smaller but pretty much the same. Those are really cute. All right, guys, so I'm back home. I've actually been back home a long time. I had already recorded this video and then I deleted it by mistake when I was about to um, work on it and edit it. So I have to do it over again. So um, I was in Bath and Body Works, like I told you, and guys, the mall was ridiculously crazy. It was so crowded in there that I just couldn't do it. So I went right directly to that store and I had to stand in line, 
But I picked up Puda two candles. One was a white chocolate mocha. I think that was a, a white coconut chocolate mocha. I am going to look for the picture and I'll post it so here so you guys can see which ones I chose I chose because she likes like coffee scented candles for the fall. And then I picked up her another one. I think it was like an Irish cream something. I can't remember, but it was a beautiful, <clears throat> like a um, burgundy and pink packaging. So once again, if I find it, I'm gonna put it right, um, put it here so you can see it. But both of them guys smelled amazing. So hopefully she likes those, the ones that I chose. Um, because me myself, you know, I like really loud, fruity, like very fragrant. Um, candles and the thing about bath and body works you don't have to burn them long uh, if, uh, if it's a strong candle before the scent emits um throughout your home so i bought that and so and then i also bought her some lotion and the lotion that i picked her up was the bigger bottle of the perfect peony so this is one that i received um free because i had a coupon what was a free um, item of seven fifty or less, so I got this, and so this is mine. I really like it. I think she'll like it too. It still smells kind of sweet. Now this does actually seem like it would be um, a summer scent, but um, and it probably was, but yeah, I like this one. So I picked that one up, and then guys, you know, on Tuesdays when I go into the office. When I come home, I am like twitted up and I have to get that dirt off of me and I have to decompress. So usually what I do on my Tuesdays is that is the day that I am going to take a bath and um, I'm going to do one of my luxurious spa type baths. So, you know, that one includes like the Mrs. Mr. Teal's. I use the um, eucalyptus, Epsom salt, the eucalyptus, um, what it is, the eucalyptus or oh, bubble bath, and then they also have a body oil. But And then I also put a couple of drops of essential oils in there, which is eucalyptus. And then I love this right here. This is the stress relief. And of course, it is the eucalyptus spearmint. They had these for $4.50. And so... Um, I picked up one and I should have actually picked up another one because Mr. B likes um, comfort and I didn't think about it. Did not think about it. But when I saw this, I was like, girl, you're low because I'm really low on my lotions. But um, these are the only two that I got. Oh, no, it's not. And so then I really must be missing my spa experience because I typically like doing things like that and going to the spa. I have not gone to the spa like I would have if I was in LA. I would go to the um, spa and get a really nice like deep tissue massage or um, a hot stone massage about once a quarter. That was something I would do with my girlfriends um, in California. And we would just go to the spa at my end. It was like a real spa experience. We would spend the entire day there. And it had like a service where you, you would pay for your whatever service you want. So usually I would get a spa, a, a spa treatment, a massage treatment, and a facial. But then um, you they had like the jacuzzi. They had a pool. They had a sauna. So before your treatment, you could do any of those. After your treatment, you could do any of those. They did not rush you out of there. There was no limit of time you had to be in there or you just didn't get your service and that be it. I have not found a place like that here in Atlanta that has really made me feel like special. And I always said if I ever came into some big money, I would definitely try to bring that franchise here from LA, I absolutely love it. So if you guys are here and um, you know of a place that maybe I've missed, the only place that I have not gone to was Jeju, and that is a lot of different salt rooms. Um, I haven't done that one, I plan on it, but I still don't know how the experience is gonna be because this place was just amazing that we used to go to. So 
my spa thing. I'm trying to create it at home. And um, you know I can't go until um, our friend Rona is gone. But I also picked up this one here. And it's the um, Hot Spring Spa. I really must need a hot stone massage. But this smells so good. It's very light. And it is, and it's, it sort of smells a little like roses or something. But I picked this up. So I got this one. And then I picked up the Dahlia. Now this one I think is new. I really like this. So if they have, be, have put the body wash on sale, I'm going to get it. I like this one. And it reminds me, I like the rose one too. This one is a little bit sweeter than the rose. So I picked those up and then I got Puda, like I said, the big one of this one. And then I got her some Dermacil because her skin is so sensitive that um, she can't use a lot of this. But I just made sure she did have a lot of her Dermacil. Okay. And then the last thing that I picked up from Bath & Body Works, I had been eyeing for like a month, maybe a month and a half. And your girl did not want to pay the money for it well today i had a coupon which bought everything that i i bought it brought it down to a, a more manageable price but um it's this right here now i know you've seen other people with it and i was really going to not get it <clears throat> but then i saw that my store that i was at only had one and i wasn't sure if the end if the other stores had it or not so i was like girl just go on and get it so i bit the bullet i closed my eyes and just put it down and did it so this was 24.99 yeah but it is so freaking pretty it is so pretty i've seen several people with it and i have been wanting it for a couple of months but i was every time i went in the store i taught myself out of it but this time like i said i only saw one and i was at the store in the mall my other two closest stores, they probably did have it. Well, I have three closest stores. And they probably did have it, but I didn't want to chance it. So, I really like it. I love the pretty gold color. These beautiful leaves detail. Yeah. All right. Let's see. And that is all that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. Now, I didn't buy anything at Ollie's. I went into Ollie's to pick up some medicines and things like that to put in her box. And um, it was all liquid. So I couldn't put none of that in her box. So I ended up going to CVS to get her some Theraflu and some Vicks and some other stuff that she could use because just like it's about to get cold here, it is getting cold there also. So I want to make sure she has what she needs in the UK, in the, in the vet that, you know, she get a cold or something. And we're going to pray that she gets nothing else but the sniffles. Okay. So while I was at Macy's, you know, I was I took you around Macy's to see what they had. And you saw my Macy's a little, it's a little sparse in there. I also was in there looking for a comforter, see if I found anything in there. I saw some beautiful comforters, but your girl wasn't willing to pay the $360 for it. Not today. She wasn't going to do that. Mm -mm. And I think it was 50% off. And then I had an extra 25% off. But I wasn't in the mood to spend that type of money today. Guys, we're in a recession. We really have to be mindful of how we spend and where we spend our coins. So every time, um, I'm going to think a couple of times to get that. So if I did, it would have to been something I really, really wanted. And it wasn't that serious. So I also have been looking for... Um, a frying pan and I found this frying pan and I showed you in it a pretty color I love the color this gold y'all y'all gonna see a lot of this and it's the Belgique brand brand now I am all of my cookware downstairs is actually Belgique it is a very nice weight it's not too heavy it's not light at all it has the riveted handles here and it's, it's like it's really comfortable to hold it is non-stick inside and I was trying to see. It's a 10 inch nonstick aluminum fryer pan. And so my like I said, my my cookware that I have downstairs is Belgique. And the one that I have that I'm getting rid of, I have had now for maybe 13 years, or it may have been it was probably like 13 years. So 
um, I love this brand and how I started using it is because I went to my aunt's house and she had this beautiful pot set on her stove. And I was like, oh, aunt, that is a beautiful pot. And she told me what it was. So when I went to Macy's and I looked for it and I saw, and I saw how much it is because the entire set is like $360. I was like, oh, for a pot? And pans, but they're so pretty. Now, over the time, over the years, they have changed the look and changed how they make them. So the newer ones, I don't really care for. Now, they did have these real pretty ones that had gold handles at one time. I should have got it. But so what I ended up doing was because they always were on sale. And so I would watch during their home sales and I would buy a pot or two. So that's how I ended up with my silver set that I have down. So I think I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of it. The only one I didn't get, they had this real pretty huge um, soup pot. It was like a pot belly pot and it had a glass um, top on it and it's sil um, silver, silver handles absolutely beautiful. I think that's the one that my aunt had. I never got that one, but you saw my Macy's. It was so sparse that, um, yeah, so hopefully during the holidays, they will have it. And if they do, I'm probably going to get it now. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, I love this. I love this pretty gold color and I think it is going to be exactly what I want. I think I would like more that's like this real pretty so we're gonna see if we can come across something else well guys that is it that is it i wish that you could have seen the, some of the other items that the other items that i had already packed away but yeah they're packed away and they're not coming out again so uh, but like i said if i can find them on the bath and body works excuse me on the website i will put them here so you can see them and um, go to your bathroom body works and, you know, sniff them yourself. See what you think about them because I thought they were amazing. So, guys, that's it. Um, and I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me as we, you know, we shopped and was getting things ready for Puda's, um box that we're sending to her, her care package. So, I have a lot of things in there. She has toothpaste. She has lotion. She has chips. She has medicine. She has um, a crafting book. Um, I have to go and get her some macaroni and cheese. I have to go and get her some um, barbecue sauce. She has spices. And she has, oh, Kit Kats and Reese's. Reese's, Reese's Cups. She loves Reese's Cups. So she has some of those. So I think she's going to be good. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed, like I said, being with me today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, I would appreciate if you would like this video, share this video with some of your friends and family or on your page. Because if you like me, I'm sure somebody else would like me. So it's enough for me to share. It's enough for me to go around. So yes, I would love if you would share my channel. And guys, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think if you try any of the things that I shared with you, if you're a bath and body works, what's your favorite scent that you like to get for the fall? Your favorite candles, you know mine, but you know, and you know, these were, the candles were 15, but 15, 50, y'all know that was still too high for me, but if she didn't send me the money, I wouldn't go and get them. So, um, yeah, you know, I like to go and get the candles. We can get them for like nine dollars. That's when I'll stack, I'll stock up. But she's not here, and she wants something um, that's reminiscent of fall for her. So that's her thing. That's her all about fall. Certain candles makes her think of home. So hopefully those candles there will make her um, feel a little bit of warm and coziness inside, and make her come on home. Come on home. All right, guys, I am about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you, ooh, guys, I'm sleeping, <laughs> can I always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.